Hi everyone, my name is Jassal Perez and I'm going to be talking about animal behavior. First off, what is animal behavior? It's the study of behavior of animals in their normal environment. It can be inherited through genes, which is called innate behavior, or it can be learned through the interaction with the environment. So I'm going to give you a bell work with this picture here, and I'm going to ask you this question. You see this predator eating its prey, right? Is it innate, learn, or both? I'm going to answer this at the end of the video. Innate behaviors. An innate behavior is inheritable as a result passed down from generation to generation through genes. These behaviors cannot be acquired through training, but only through inheritance. For example, as us humans, it is innate for us to be hungry. We have no control over that, right? Or blinking is another example too. Um, but I'm going to talk about two types of innate behavior. It's fixed action patterns and imprinting. Fixed action patterns is initiated by a specific stimulus. For example, male stickleback fish defend their territory against other males. The red belly of the males is the stimulus for aggressive behavior, as you could see in the picture here. However, as Tinbergen discovered, any object with red underside initiates the same aggressive behavior as it did with the real ones over here. Imprinting, an innate program for acquiring a specific behavior only if an appropriate stimulus experienced during a critical period. A critical period is a limited time interval during the life of the animal. Ethologist Lorenz discovered that during the first day of life, gray leg goslings will accept any moving object as their mother. When Lorenz himself was the moving object, he was accepted as their mother for life. Any object presented after the critical period, including their real mother, was rejected. As you can see, here is Lorenz with the little cute little goslings. And you could see right here, he even flew with him, and he even had to bathe with him. So, moving on, learned behaviors. What is learned behaviors? It's a behavior that is taught or received through experience. Using a quick example, at us humans, we are pretty much learning everything every single day. Whether it's to talk, a subject, how to eat properly all those things. And aside from that, I'm going to talk about four types of learned behaviors, which is associative learning, habituation, observational learning, and insight. Associative learning. What is it? It's an occurrence when an animal recognizes or learns that two or more events are connected. So, a form of associative learning is called classical conditioning. This occurs when an animal performs a behavior in response to a substitute stimulus rather than the normal stimulus. For example, dogs salivate when presented with food. Here's the picture for that. And then psychologist Ivan found that the bell, if the bell was brought just before dogs were given food, they would, after repeated experiences, salivate in response to the bell ringing alone. So here, before conditioning and during conditioning. Dogs associate the ring of the bell, the substitute stimulus, with the presentation of food, the normal stimulus. Habituation is a learned behavior that allows the animal to disregard meaningless stimuli. So, I use peri dogs for example. So, peri dogs give alarm calls whenever they feel a predator is like near. So that's kind of like their warning sign. Peri dogs in towns, they are usually located near trails used by humans, give alarm calls every time a person walks. By this is a waste of time and energy for the group. Habituation to humans is an important adaptation to this context. What this is trying to say is that the peri dogs got used to the humans because they know they are not going to hurt them at all, so why even do the alarm call if there's no purpose to it. So this situation is called habituation. It's an example of it. Observational learning. So it occurs when an animal copy the behavior of another animal without having experienced any prior positive reinforcement with the behavior. 
So the Japanese monkeys, in this case, remove sand from a potato by holding the potato in one hand and brushing the sand away with the other hand. This took a while. But then one monkey discovered that it could be more easily brushed if he held the potato in the water. Through the observational learning, nearly all the monkeys did the same thing. The cool thing about it is they learn this all by themselves, They're not getting rewarded, so you could tell they're pretty smart. Insight learning occurs when an animal is exposed to a new situation without any prior relevant experience and performs a behavior that generates a desirable outcome. So chimpanzees will stack boxes so it could climb, providing it with access to the bananas previously beyond reach. I was amazed by this example because it really shows these chimpanzees are really smart. Like I said, I was going to answer this scenario at the end of the video. So the answer is both because it is a need to feel hungry. Of course it is, because you have no control over that feeling. It is also a learned behavior because this predator, when he was young, he was taught how to hunt and how to catch its prey in order to survive his given environment. So thanks for watching and hopefully you learned about animal behavior.